Time for minor league baseball here on the show as we set our sights on the Double A Eastern League. Today, getaway day here in this three-game series between the Bowie Bay Sox and the Erie Seawolves. The Bay Sox will try to complete the series sweep on the road against their division rivals right after this. Alex Fajardo starts the game on the mound for the third and final game of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matt, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's really struggled lately. ERA over five in his last three starts, so he's going to have to really improve on that one. Too many base runners, too many hits, and too many Let's walks. Three, three. Stepping up now, Cole Peterson. And he really Peterson. thrives in the batter's box Let's here at down. home. Something to Goal. keep an eye on in this one. Peterson. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Yep. So guys are visitors as they take the field following a scoreless top half. Four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Hey, not an easy thing to do, D-Row, to get a sweep, a three-game sweep on the road. They've won the first two, looking to put a bow on this one here. Yeah, to win three on the road, Dan, significantly difficult in today's game. You try and take care of business at home, this would be huge for this team. Hummel, a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Settling in now, Danny Woodrow. Batting second. The right fielder. Danny Woodrow. First pitch of the at bat. Aye. One down. One down. The windup and the 0-1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Bases are empty, one man out. Hey, strike this guy out. Let's go. Lifted down the line in left. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. Three, three. And now it'll kick around in the corner. Come on, come on. And he'll reach second now with one away. Sometimes you just got to tip your hat to the offense right there. Nice piece of hitting. Executed his pitch away again, but the hitter was able to stay on time. Batting third. The designated hitter. Here's Jordy Mercer now. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. The 0-1 on its way. Nope. Off the outside. outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. One, hit on one, the one. ground to third. Scooped up. And there's out oh. number two. Now at the plate, Nick Ames looking for Back better four. results than last the night when he went 0 for 4 in that one. Hey. He's set. Here it comes. Hey. Against left-handed pitching so far this season, Ames has a batting line residing in the 230s. He'd be the first to tell you he's not happy with his batting average this season, but he can beat you in a variety of different ways, and he has to because he wouldn't be here otherwise. Ready on 0-2. Good waste oh, pitch, good 1 and 2. So that's two pitches in a row above the belt. As a hitter, that's what you're looking for, especially when it's a day game and the ball is carried. That just wasn't a good enough pitch to hit. Oh, big guy, get him yourself right here. Ready with the one-two. Swing and a liner. Right at the third baseman, and that'll end the inning. An inning in the books. No score here on the show. Three. 
So stepping in, Cam Gibson is Leading back in the starting people. lineup for this one after the sitting out field. last night's game. Cam Gibson. First pitch coming. Here it is. That's a ball. Counts one and zero. Oh. The one zero. Oh. Is a fastball that misses. Well, today's game provides the visiting squad with a chance to complete the series sweep, guys. Sure does, and it's always difficult to sweep and win a series on the road, especially when you're playing a division opponent. And this is in the air down the left field line and into foul territory, and no one will track it down. Hey, nobody away. And it's fouled away. All even at two and two. Here it is. A little roller toward the hole. And that's out number one. Now with the play, Chad Setio. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Setio. First pitch on its way. Smoked on the ground up the middle. Reined in. And the throw here is going to get him at first. Excellent range there at short, and there are two away now. Standing in, Daniel Panero. He's two for seven in the series so far. Panero. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Fouled off. The 1-1 one, one home. Misses oh, down below man. the knees. Bottom of the second here with no score. Line towards center field. Mullins will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Nothing across here this half. We'll go now to the top of the third. And we are tied nothing nothing. Bottom of the inning now, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Jacob Robson. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Hit down the third baseline, but this is foul for the first strike. Hey, come on, guys. 0 oh and 1, here it comes. Nope, that's inside. Hard hit to first. Oh, what a dive. Got him. Got him. Outstanding play over there at first. That ball was headed for the hole, but he pulled it in on a dive. Then great presence of mind to take it himself for the out. Stepping up to the plate, Joey Morgan. Batting nut. The catcher. Joey Morgan. Here's the first pitch to him. Hey! You have to understand as the hitter right here, pitcher on the mound wants a quick inning. Anything over the heart of the plate, go, probably got to pull the trigger on. The wind up and the 0-1. Oh, he had him fooled there. No balls and two strikes. And a half-hearted attempt that time, but they'll say he broke the plane, and that's out number two. For me, check swings are right there next to bang-bang plays at first as the most difficult calls for an ump to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. And now pitch on the way. 
Cole Peterson is at the plate as he watches ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. On the screws to shortstop, but caught to retire the side. So they breeze through this half of the inning. Three innings complete, and Bowie is out in front, two to nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Danny Woodrow. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Now a bunt attempt here. And a sliding effort as he stays with it behind the plate and holds on for the first out. Digging in to now try it again. Jordy Mercer. 0 for 1 Jordy. for him here in this one. Mercer. First offering on its way. Well, that's off the plate. One out, nobody yeah, on. That evens it up one and one. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. Hey, give yourself right here. Swing and a miss. Looked like the screwball there. Two gone. This pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this series. This is a really good hitter, and it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point, but that's what they've done to this guy so far. Now batting. The first base to the plate now, Nick Ames. Hey! As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. In there, and he's in control 0 2 now. Two down, two down. Yeah, if he's going to pound the zone with this stuff all game, the offense better step up. Somebody's going to have to pull a trigger a little bit earlier in the count. Got him swinging on the splitter that time, and with that, the side is retired. So they go quietly here in this half inning. We played four full. The Bay Sox lead this thing 2 to nothing. Coming to the plate now, Cam Gibson, as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. Gibson. First pitch of the at-bat. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. The windup and the 0-1. And that fastball's taken but catches the outer third. Sort of surprising to see a five-hole hitter take two in a row for strikes to start at bat. Now he's way behind the count, so we'll see if he can battle back. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. Right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. The batter number 22. Second base Stepping in now, Chad Sedio. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Okay, one down now, one down. Here it comes. Ah. That's in there. And he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. 
His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Plays it first here. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. If this doesn't boost your confidence on the mound, I'm not sure what does. That six pitches and two strikeouts in the inning? And that was a really nice fastball for the punch out on that one. Now batted, third baseman, Daniel. Into the box, Daniel Pinero. Pinero. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Man, that's seven straight strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Two out, nobody on. And it's quickly 0-2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Sharp ground ball to third. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. You take a look at the numbers up to this point. You see he's only given up two hits so far today, so he's been hitting his spots all game long. Remains to be seen if he can keep that shutout intact going forward, but I'm not betting against him. Now batting, center fielder, Jacob. Robson. Standing in now, Jacob Robson. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. He's 0-for-1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. High in the air out to center field. Mullins is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. One hit, one left. Five innings complete, and Bowie is out in front, two to nothing. So digging in now, Joey Morgan. He'll start things out in the sixth Leading for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. First pitch coming, here it is. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Looking up is the left fielder. Gone! A solo shot here to left. Home run number five on the year. As they cut the lead in half, it's 2-1 now. That bomb didn't tie things up, but they're only down one right now and feeling pretty good they can come back. Now that good stop. Goal. And now Cole Peterson. Peterson. As he'll take one up in the zone, but indeed in the strike zone for the first strike. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. To right field and absolutely hammered. Forget about making a play on that ball. It's way out of here. Back to back home runs. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Home run number two for him on the year as we are all knotted up at two. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate.
Now batter. So Mike now Woodrow. to the plate, Danny Woodrow. Woodrow. And he's first pitch swinging here as he lines this one into left field for a base hit. Yeah, and I think he might have lulled himself into a false sense of security out there. Prior to this inning, he was pitching a shutout, but now he's starting to look a little off. The designated hitter, number nine. Jordy. At the plate now, Jordy Mercer. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. Here you go, boys. Hey, nobody out. 0 1, here's the pitch. Hit to first. Fielded cleanly to second for one. On to first to complete the double play. That's one of the hardest double plays to turn right there because of the difficult throw the first baseman has to make. No problem this time, though, and they get the two outs they were looking for. Ready for another chance? Nick Ames. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Nick Ames. Hey, two outs, huh? First delivery to him on the way. At the ball. The 1 0 home is swung on and missed in that strike one. Right. Hey, that's a huge double play to settle everybody down right now. Giving up a few early runs. Let's see if he can get out of this inning and regroup. The 1-1 home. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike One two. Ball, two strikes, the count. The one two. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So two runs come across here, both coming via the solo home run. We're through six full, and we are tied 2-2. Two -two. Last half of the seventh here, and standing in the outfielder, Cam Gibson. The left fielder, Cam Gibson. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ball oh, one. That's inside. That's that good. misses 2-0. Oh. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2-0, oh, good hitter. He's going to turn oh, it guys. loose right here. Nobody down here. Three and O oh now. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. Three-zero -oh pitch. Finds the zone. Strike one. And he lays nope. off, ball, ball four. four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Man, when the game is tied, the last thing you can afford to do is walk the leadoff hitter. Got to focus on getting that ground ball now. Now here comes the skipper out of the first base dugout heading for the mound. And it would appear he's seen enough of his starter this afternoon. He'll depart with our score tied, and he'll still be accountable for the runner at first, and the best he can do is a no decision in this one. Your attention, please. So now, with a left-handed hitter waiting, they'll go to their own left-hander out of the bullpen. Tyler Irwin. Ow. Ow. 
He's out. You're out. 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 He's out. 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 You're out. Three. Out. Three. Out. He's out. You're out. Three. Out. Ball four. Take the base. He's safe. Well, everyone was treated to a really well-played ball game in this one, and the guy you see there turned in a particularly notable performance, so he's our tops player of the game in this one. He was one of a few guys that really swung the bat well in this game with a pair of base hits. He helped propel his team to a hard-fought win. A one-run game this afternoon, 3-2 to two, the final finish. Gerson Moreno claims the win out of the pen his first. So that'll just about do it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire the crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out the shownation.com. For the Bay Sox, two runs on eight hits. No errors. They left 13 men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 45 minutes.